everyone. This is Bren. I'm checking in real quick here because somebody told me that the reason why my uh, firmware wasn't actually recognizing, the firmware upgrade wasn't recognizing the card was because I didn't install the Behringer USB drivers for the Windows computer. So it's a borrowed computer and I'm a Mac person. So I installed the drivers. Obviously, I'm going to reboot right here. So the computer will recognize the flash card as you can see here it's restarting it'll start in a few seconds but this is what i'm experiencing now it's always something new now it recognizes it and you there it goes so now it recognizes it recognizes it again recognizes it a third time so now it's locked in and it's finished fooling around when i click update it then goes to, and it seems like it unmounts the USB drive from what I heard, from what I heard, just unmounted the card, but it's trying to prepare to download. And uh, what happens, it'll sit there for a minute or two and it'll time out. And, uh, and then it doesn't finish the completing of the uh, upgrade. So now, I'm stuck with this thing not being able to continue the firmware upgrade because it times out. Now, I have a strong connection of about 80 megabits per second broadband speed. I tested that already. Uh, it's connected via Ethernet. Got the USB cord from the card going into the computer. So that is not the problem. But something is actually happening here where... It just doesn't want to download or prepare to download. And there it goes. It times out. So if anybody can actually tell me what is going on and what do I need to do next. Check device. Check if device boots properly and try downloading again. So clicking that closed. You tell me guys. I don't know what the hell to do next to update this firmware. Please, somebody, come up with a suggestion on what's next. And uh, if I try to open up that software again, the firmware upgrade, it won't recognize the card at all. The card is actual. The card will be. Uh, it's like as if the driver is not there. But obviously, maybe it's just because uh, the the X32 needs to be rebooted again. But as you can see, it's not connected. All I have to do is go back over here to hit the setup and do the reboot again and it will recognize it it'll recognize it and uh yeah and it's back just to the same old thing so what's next you guys well i don't get it why didn't we make this upgrade right over here at the port but okay you have to be connected directly to the to the card itself that's great but it's the same old same old situation okay so i finally got it up again hit update and it'll just go through the whole timeout problem once again there we go and uh preparing to download and it just doesn't do anything same old issue let me know what you guys think Peace.